So this is the M1918 Gewehr. I swear every gun in this game is a Gewehr. But this is another Gewehr. And I've been finding, since it's, I mean, it's designed as an anti-tank rifle, but the most effective way to use it, I've figured, is, is if you put it the end of the barrel an inch from the enemy's head, it is really accurate. Like, you will never miss a headshot. So that's, I mean, that's pretty much been the entire way I've been playing with this sniper so far. That poor guy in the intro. Uh, uh, it was the same guy as well in the intro. He came back because I disturbed his nest and he, he came back to get revenge. But I was hiding for him again and I felt so sorry for him because it's so loud, the sniper rifle as well. I mean, it is designed for tanks, not shooting infantry in the head, to be fair. It's surprisingly accurate as well, even at long range. It's a one shot to any part of the body. I don't know what they're loading in the shells of this or how big these shells are, but it's like the freaking moon's gravitational force you're shooting at people here because you can hit them in the toe and they are an absolute goner. And they make it even stronger in the full game. It's going to be even more powerful against tanks. It's pretty much a two, shit, a two, two, <laughs> a two hit kill against armored cars already. So it is going to surprise you, I would imagine, when I say this. But I don't think this is the best weapon in the game. Da da da! There is a better weapon, which is the trench knife. Now you might think a mere knife is not going to be good enough to match up against the tank gewehr that we're shooting people here with. But you haven't seen this trench knife yet. It's it's like I don't know if you remember the smart pistol from Titanfall that locked onto things. I mean, if if you never played Titanfall, it's kind of like having. Winston the Gorilla from Overwatch in a knife <laughs> because it's literally got like a 180 degree lock on the trench knife in this game and it is absolutely devastating in the town but you're about to see that well right now this is the AC-130 uh, the bomber it's like an AC-130 the power of this gun uh, and I'm about to drop into the town and get out the trusty trench knife. But I didn't really want to talk about that in this video. I wanted to give you some thoughts that I had about the Battlefield 1 beta because there's some very interesting things in this. Not all interesting, like, fantastically good. I, I have at some points wondered what the vending machines in DICE headquarters dispense because I'm beginning to think it's probably whiskey and, and magic mushrooms or something, some of the decisions they've made, but <laughs> like this map, for example. Why would you choose a, a desert map in a, in a game people want to feel like they're in World War I in? Why, why not even just use the Scar map that people have seen already? Because that might be so much better than this daft Sinai desert one, which is just a run around kind of... Although, thinking about it, it probably was the same guy who messed up the medic class. They call him Bill. He has tequila for breakfast. Uh, so <laughs> they removed the icon that shows you where people are to revive, like the 3D icon. The one thing that defines teamwork in this game. I, I mean, because, like, the support class there, I mean, most of those guys are lost cause. They're never going to drop your ammo. And DICE may or may not put in the thing from Hardline where you could, like, actually grab ammo off support guys. So the medic class was, like, it was our last hope of teamwork. And they, they spoiled it for the beta. So there's all these new players, like, literally, the whole time in the beta, played for seven days I got revived once by somebody other than a teammate I think that guy thought he was Anna from Overwatch and was trying to give me a nano boost so like, I just I just don't understand why you would do that when there's all these new players joining the game it's absolute madness I mean sure teammates are, are well stupid and they have helped in some areas like with tanks the tanks can drop med kits and ammo packs and the radius on those is absolutely huge so if you're a tank you're going to sit and drop a med kit it literally heals like half the city but then they put self repair on tanks so you don't have to work as a team to get your tank into battle which kind of it's like they do one thing and they defeat it with something else by the way i think i was invisible here i, I don't know <laughs> i don't know how this many people just just ran into me and and but yeah trench knife Best weapon in the game. I don't want you to think that I think the game is bad though, because I've really enjoyed it. There's just some like there's some monstrously stupid decisions in it. Like the medical There's another one where they've removed the key that lets you take out the knife. And I know that seems like a small thing, but why remove player control like that? Why not do something simple like having bayonet on a different key to melee? So you don't accidentally charge like a loony through the middle of everybody just because you tried to stab one person, which has happened like four times to me so far. 
that was the that was the smart pistol trench knife right there doing that lock on on that guy for me <laughs> but no th if you if you want an immersive experience of world war one you will get no better than this it is absolutely i don't know what this photogrammetry stuff is that they've done this with but it looks it's mind-blowingly nice looking this game Oh dear. <laughs> I feel awareness may be a little bit of a problem in this game. In that they've removed audio spotting so that when you shoot you don't appear on the minimap, which is probably a very good thing. However, when there's stuff going on, even a little bit of stuff, especially the planes, because they, they're, for some reason the flat kind of sounds like footsteps, people just don't know you're there. And this wasn't even somebody bad. I added this guy afterwards, and he's got an Astro A50 headset, he said, which is, that's over a 200 quid gaming headset, and he couldn't hear me running behind him. I mean, if there's literally nothing going on, then you, you, you won't, be, you'll be able to hear, like, people in the building and around there, but it's just a lot of the time obscured by other nays. Maybe it should be, I don't know. I mean, it's fun being the guy chasing that guy, but I guess less fun being that guy. This is the new sniper they added, the M95 Gewehr. This wasn't in the Alpha. And it, it's a little bit different to the other ones because it kills with a one-shot headshot, but there's no sweet spot. So if you shoot somebody in the body, like... The snipers work if, you, if you're not familiar, I'm sure a lot of you are. But if you're close, they do say like 80 damage, but then the damage goes up initially. So about 50, 100 meters away, depending on the sniper. They'll sometimes one-shot body shot. This gun doesn't have that. The damage just goes down over distance. But it makes up for it by firing just incredibly quickly. So that's kind of the trade-off. I kind of don't like the bolt animation though. It's so fast on that gun, and like, it's all about the animation for me. Whichever gun looks the coolest, that's what I always end up using. Air combat's very satisfying now, by the way. And they, uh, to give DICE credit, they did fix one of the things that was up in the Alpha, and that was if you're on somebody's tail like this, just a few bullets would totally disable the wings, because bits of the wings break off if you shoot them, and ground fire, like shots from soldiers, did did that, that like loads as well. So just a single soldier with the machine gun on the ground could basically take out aeroplanes in the Alpha. But they fixed that so that you can have like a bit of a dogfight and it's very satisfying without lock-ons. Like it, it really is like, it, it's good fun being, being in the sky now. Seems impossible to land the planes. Maybe they're not desert planes, I don't know. But every time I've tried to land a plane, it's just like exploded just a few seconds afterwards. So I don't know, I don't know what's up with that. Maybe it's quicksand, who knows? I don't know if you saw on there, the rockets on the wings. It's like a firework display. This plane's got. This is uh, the bomber killed a load loadout. There's also one that's got a, a freaking tank cannon attached to the plane. And look at the defamation in the desert. It's so good. Oh no, this is a cavalry class coming to attack me. At the moment, compared to normal soldiers, this is like that that liquid Terminator thing in Terminator 2. <laughs> like, you stand that much of a chance against uh, uh, the cavalry class. Because they've got heavy armor. They've got a bolt action rifle that you can use on the on the thing with the, the Winchester, which is just an absolute ton of damage. They come with a sword. They get a sword. Even my trench knife can't beat a sword. And yeah, uh, it's a uh, it's a very strong class at the moment, the cavalry class. But they're going to change it because, of course, you have got the cavalry class, which is an elite unit. You have got the tank hunter, which is the sniper I used at the start. Uh, there's a machine gun guy. I'm going to show you with some footage of with playing with my friend in a second. And then there's the flamethrower dude, who just just if you get within flamethrower dude's range, you're you're a gunner. Anyway, I'm going to show you some footage playing with my friend in a second because we had a pretty cool game got on the train not in the way you would think and uh, I mean the game is is really good fun I've been finding it is very buggy for a bay I just wish they you know because like new people come to play I wish they'd kind of made a bit more of an effort to fix some of these bugs that are always in frostbite engine games because I think it'd give them a better impression and some stuff like the tanks 
I think there just needs to be better player awareness of things. Not only other soldiers in cities and stuff, so you can orientate yourself a bit, but tanks, like, tanks need to be twice as loud. So you don't just run out into the open just get instantly wrecked by them. They need to make a sound when you stood still, but hopefully they'll fix some of these things. Anyway, it's been good for playing this. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I shall see you guys in the next chapter. I've got a, I've got a heavy machine gun with a thousand rounds inside. Look at me. Look at the oh armor my. I've got. Dude, that gun is absolutely huge. You'd, you'd never be able to carry that thing. <laughs> Look, there's a guy in there. Oh, oh my god. god! Run! He threw a grenade. He doesn't realize that I am the Terminator. Whoa, 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 whoa. I just went down. Oh, that same guy. Where is he? He's running up. There's two of them there now. Are they are they near your body? No. Spawn on me. T spawn on me. They're on the flag. Dead on the flag. Where are they going? Whoa! Okay. Oh, that's a tank. Oh, that is not good. Are you good? Yeah. I've got like no anti-tank abilities. Uh, I could hit it a few times with this, I guess. Uh, that's the big tank. I don't think it's gonna really do much. Whoa, I'm on three health. I gotta hide, dude. Yep. I've gone upstairs. Well, that was fortunate. Oh, you're in the corner up here. I am on three health, though. I need serious. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, dude, he come behind us. You got him, right? Yeah. I'm on seven health. Shall I be a medic and then heal you? Yeah, fuck it. I'm on seven health. Got to be very careful. Oh no, I spawned in the wrong place. It's all right. Oh, I've got my health back. I'm gonna redeploy. They don't know who they're fucking with. Tank, Tank there. there. One of theirs. I could perhaps take this point actually. Where can I get? Oh, it's so open. Oh, I keep spawning in the wrong place. Dude, you. Oh, I can take the point from here. Maybe we should kill this guy on the roof. Like this guy. Hey, man. Bye, man. Oh. Where are you going? I got him. Good. Nice. Oh, God. Not good. Where is that guy? Um. West. He's reloaded. So dead. Someone's sniping at me. Uh, from the point, the from C. I don't, I don't know if they know I'm here. I just got blown up. What the fuck did he shoot me? He's coming to that building that I was on. I don't know if they can actually like. <laughs> oh, only got 91 bullets left. Good. Yeah. I think there's a guy upstairs somewhere in there. <laughs> what was he gonna do? <laughs> I've got a thousand bullets in this, son. Oh. Ah, uh, there's one on the point. I mean, we should take this, dude. They can, they're gonna keep respawning if we don't. I feel this armored guy is pretty strong. Do you oh, not think? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. To say he can only hit fire. Come in here, dude. You get loads of points. Come to me. There's a guy coming. He's at mid B. I'm reloading. I hit him. I hit him. Oh, yeah, there's, this there is a sniper next to the containers, like east, directly east of us. What the fuck is that noise? Tank. Maybe we should wait around to the left. I see the guy. Do you? I'm gonna come out of here. Lol, that was a long one. Did you get him? <laughs> whoa, 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 there's a guy here, there's a guy here, right near me. Oh, good, hurt. take cover, dude. Oh, I shouldn't go in there. 
I'm not reloading until we're safe. 16 health. You can close the doors. Oh! <laughs> oh, uh, he's like, wait, he's at the building just opposite you. I know. You, you just absolutely at that bullet. I'm just going to cap the point. Yeah, I, I know where he's shooting from. He's aiming through the door. He shot through the freaking door. Yeah, it's only wood. That was epic, though. I hit him in the head. I can't spawn on you for a second. Uh, it's because I'm not near the wall. Because I'm, I'm near the wall. Did we get it? Yes, we got it. That guy desperately needs to die. I got him, I got him. Right, where should we go now? Uh, I'm following you, you got the big gun. Whoa! Oh my god, not that way. Not that way. What's that? That was a tank. I'm gonna make, I'm gonna go to the other side of town and then. I just wanna spawn. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get to B, dude. That is, it's gonna be a big ask. I went out of a girl once who had a big ask. Uh. <laughs> uh, guys, uh, come into D. Is that. Oh no, it's the train. Yeah, but there's guys there. Is that too. enemy train or friendly train? Uh, friendly. Okay, we, we, should we get in it? We could get Fine. in it maybe and go to B in it. It's going without us. No, come back, train! There is a guy there though. There was a guy in there, I don't know. That's him. Oh, shots. It's behind us. He's in one of these windows. There's a. What there, Sadder? Southeast. Uh, maybe when the train comes back, we get in it. Yeah. I think it'll come back. There shouldn't have something behind us, dude. He's on me here. Oh, what the fuck? He shoot. Where? I don't know. There's a fucking friendly shooting me. There is a guy here, though. Train's coming. Oh, it's so in? fast. Let's get in. <laughs> How? I don't know. I'm on it. Sad, I'm going to the objective. How the freak did you get on there? I, I going don't really know. That was retarded. I'm, I'm on my way. That was going so fast. <laughs> I know. It was like it was like when Iron Man grabs onto things. Shit. Can I actually get in here somewhere? I don't know if I can get in. I don't really want to fall off. Okay, I'm just gonna have to sit here and pretend I'm part of the train. Oh, get wrecked, dude, on the horse. I don't think I can actually get in this, you know. Oh no, I'm trapped. Oh god. So I'm trapped! I'm just wrecking noobs. Sada! What are you doing? I don't know, I'm under the train now! Oh, I'm out, I'm out. Oh no, it's left me. It was a freaking easy jet train. Uh, oh no, it was alright, it blew up just before I got... There's next to you, there's, there's loads of enemy. Uh, ah. If you, if you don't, if you don't see them, they don't there. I'm at B though, dude, I made it. Ow. That guy realizes what I am. I'm the bringer of death. Oh, no! Ow. Okay. Oh my god. I think this guy wants some. <laughs> Dude, if you if you spawn at me, I've got presents. Have you? Yeah. I'm just fighting people in the one horses with a beast. I'm doing alright, Sal. I'm going 18-0. Where are you? Come oh, to no. me. Hey, he's running.